Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Benji's Logs and Whatnots. We are back at it again for another episode. Tell you what, we have found a solution to our problem, the fatigue problem. That is, we have found a very comfortable solution indeed. What solution would that be? Very simple, guys. We found that uh, adding another blanket to when we sleep is a very big contribution to us being able to sleep properly at night. And not only that, our fatigue has gone down significantly, which is good for us at the end of the day because we are not only feeling better, we don't have the brain fog, which is good for us at the end of the day. Now, how do I know this is working? Well, it's very simple. I usually have a snooze first thing in the morning, uh, especially when we just before we go to work, but I didn't need one this morning. So that is always a bonus thing because that usually makes us feel a lot worse than what we usually do. But we have found the solution and that's all that matters. It is a glorious Monday morning. There's hardly any clouds around. The stars are shining and shimmering as always. But we're going to get this day started without further of me blabbering on like I usually do. So without further ado, guys, let's go. One thing I love about Mondays is there isn't that much to deliver. Three boxes and a handful of bread. That's about it for the uh, for the day. Lovely jubbly. There's one little box down there that isn't refrigerable, but that's all right. That's one thing I love about Mondays is it's not overly busy when it comes to d delivering things down to other places. There's usually a handful of deliveries once we uh, get down to the other store. That's all right, I don't mind means that uh, work today have tomorrow off which is always something that I do enjoy it's kind of a bummer though because I like to have two days side by side not uh, two days uh, in between a work day one of the biggest things that I love about coming down here is seeing that ocean front plus all the hills that you can see from here that comes all the way through basically to just our right and uh, don't get me wrong there's still stuff over there but that over there is the biggest reason why I love coming down here not so much the winding road that goes from about there all the way through to where it gets to the town about there it's uh yeah too windy for my liking some of the places that we've got to get down into Oh, look at that. A little parrot just on the, on the driveway. There he goes. I hear her. D. She. Mm. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. But anyways, some of these driveways are an absolute nightmare. Some of those damn driveways that we've got to go down, guys, especially with the bloody three-ton van or four-ton van, depending on what it is. I'm not entirely sure, I haven't really checked the placard on what, how heavy the damn thing is. Yeah, some of the driveways that we've got to go down guys is ridiculous. Because, as you guys can see, the van is quite a long van. It's probably at least four meters long. And uh, yeah, it's got a, I wouldn't say a wide girth, but uh, she's probably a little bit bigger than your average car. But uh, yeah, not only that, she's also relatively tall because that's my head right there and there's still probably another three foot on top of it not only that guys it is very empty in the van, back of the van and all the vans that i've driven in my time i'd have to say this pattern right here with this diamond plate and these little uh rails here it stops everything from going back or forth in the van. That design is so much better than everything else that I've ever driven. But anyways, sitting back, admiring is now over. It's time to get back on the road as it were. Because we can sit here all day, gas bag and everything else, but uh, the sooner we can get home, the better. I'm gonna have to say that these things right here are an absolute lifesaver especially for a person like me who's got a 
kid's bladder. Uh, drives me insane. Doesn't exactly help when we drink two litres of bloody water. Just under a gallon, as you would say. Just finished work. Well, oh, finished work about three, nearly four hours ago. Sitting at home, just chillaxing. Didn't really feel like doing much today for the rest of the day, to be honest. I do feel a little bit tired, but not as tired as what I usually have been feeling. Two good things about tomorrow day off, and that's also payday. So that means we're going to go into uh, Melton and uh, we're going to go and get some things from there, as it were. But for now, we ain't going to be doing much for the rest of the day. It's just going to be a quiet afternoon. And I think with this scene, I think you guys are already figuring out what I'm planning. If it wasn't so damn breezy, as per the usual. It's getting that uh, fire pit started again. Might even be able to do it tomorrow morning for a couple of hours. But, uh, yeah. If it wasn't too damn breezy, it'd be good. As you can see that bloody plane up there, but I can't believe on how damn noisy the footing thing is. Friggin' noisy bastard coming over and disrupting our bloody peace and quiet. Bloody thing. We went to that car show. I can't remember when that was. I think that was the start of the year. I, I can't remember when it was. It was ages ago now. It feels like it was like two years ago. But when we went and did that car show, there were some gliders there. Here I was, thinking of going to be booking myself a gliding lesson, but uh, by the way that they lie and the thing, I don't think I'll be able to get into it, to be honest. Oh well. That's what that bloody, bloody plane reminded me of, is just that moment of wanting to do something and realising one is too big to be doing such things. That's why I can hear something. It's a bloody concrete truck right there. I hear people yelling and carrying on. Uh, or the obvious sound of a bloody... One of those things bloody dumping shit. <laughs> oh well. They must be doing some uh, sidewalks down there somewhere. Oh well. They can do that. Not, I'm not even going to use it. Another bloody problem. You guys won't see it. It's right above the tree line. It's right about there. It's up beyond the clouds now, but the bloody... Uh, what do you call it? The... F f uh, flying lines? The uh, airport's just over there. Now all the planes come overhead. Especially at 2 o'clock in the morning. That really drives me nuts. Especially if I can't sleep. And you're in one of those things, buddy, grumble overhead. Ugh. Drives me bloody bananas. Absolute bananas. But I don't know about you guys. I'm going back inside. Because my feet are freezing. I've been thinking about uh, that van that I usually drive for work. The sheer size of it would be perfect for two things. A camper van and a gaming van. Just take it wherever and just set it up and play games for the day. Could be out in the middle of nowhere, could be in the main street of town. That's just an idea, but all you need is an extra bit of this. Uh, this guy I can't save for the life of him. But that's just a thought. Many thoughts that run through this mind. But I'll allow those thoughts to sit up here and uh, I guess drift away in time, as the saying goes. But uh, while they drift away, I'm going to put the camera down. So that means I'm going to love yous and leave yous, guys. Thanks for being a part of this video, as always, and the YouTube channel. I hope each and every one of you stays safe out there. 
I'll see you guys in the next video. Just remember to get out there, stay happy, stay positive over everything else. Until the next time, guys, keep it easy.